Greetings, it's me, Firebee. And Meiji. And welcome back to Eve. Last time, I believe we had the extra length episode in which we did a whole bunch of puzzles here with Gary. And also with Eve and Mary. Whoops, mm -hmm. just bumped my headset. Very professional of me. <laughs> um, well, I mean, <laughs> we're not professional. Exactly. And this disturbing doll has been following us around, and it has been spooking the heck out of Meiji. And I get quite a kick out of it. <laughs> um, we're collecting a whole bunch of these colored balls. Which apparently balls of paint. Yeah, they're things. This room, we still can't get to there, but we know one of them's there. Well, I mean, what about that red one that busted against the wall? Maybe, but I don't think we can go back there. Well, no, I'm just saying, like, is there going to be another red one? Probably, if I had to guess. Uh, and then, I believe at the end of last video, we shut off the gas in here. Yes, we did. So I believe... And then we saved. ...that we ought to be able to... ...do something yep. here with Ebe and Mary. We can definitely go... yep, that way. Ah, oh. look! Ebe! Stairs! I bet we can take them to the lower floor! Except, you know, there's a mannequin in the way. What a... look at this frame! What a cutesy frame! Quite. All pink with, like, hearts all over it? Um... oh yeah, I see the hearts now. The yeah. hearts are quite subtle. They're... I mean, they're not hugely obvious. Mainly because they're, like, three pixels. Hmm, that's true. It is literally a three-pixel heart. Yeah. <laughs> and the the top the painting is actually pretty cute too. Sleeping on the moon, and that's a star with like a pull string on it. That is adorable. Oh. What is it? Aspiration. Oh. Huh. Hello. This is in the way. Gary can do it though. This is in the way. Well, I guess we can't do shit in here. This is in the way. Well, that was eventful. Yes. Um, is that room right there locked? I can't remember what's in there. It's still been a locked. Couple days. Hello. Yeah. Fisherman. I'm not sure whether I'd be more creeped out or less if it waved back at us. <laughs> Maybe I'm a really little not both? sure. We don't have all the colored things, so we can't get across to that key. Um, and there's nothing really in that room. Right. Just a creepy story. I'm a little lost as to what we should do. Maybe that triggered a flag and we can go back to Gary. Mm, yeah, maybe. That's since, the only thing I can Since think Mary of. mentioned him. True. I'm suddenly really spooked, and I'm not sure why. <laughs> like, anticip... Like, anticipation spooks. Should be able to move it, but I can't. Should be able to move it, but I can't. The arms of the world, via trading of existences, their imaginary can be made reality. Hmm, I feel like that's supposed to be a hint. You know? Central so the color something, the use some color. color. Hmm? Oh, you're doing the hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh. I wasn't expecting that. There's something on the ground. A paint ball of paint green. It vanished. Wait, read that again. The essentials of color. It describes the uses of color. And then Gary goes, hmm, and green pops out. Yeah, it does that now that we have un unlocked the ability to actually get the thing, the balls of paint. Right. 
but also that middle bookshelf there mentions something about uh, using imagination to bring things into existence effectively. Yeah. This one? Heroes of this By world. a trading of existences, yeah. the imaginary can be made reality. Yes. I guess. I mean, I feel like that was a hint towards it or something. I don't know. I'm, I feel it, I'm because sure, he, not sure what that means. I feel like because he mentions, he's like, I don't know what that means. It's supposed to be a hint. We still can't something. move these. Mm. No checking out books. Well, we checked out a lot of books. We were checking them out like left and right. As in, you know, perusing them. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Something moved. Something crashed. And that sounded like a slide. Oh. Like something heavy. I see. Anyways, Gary is questioning something. Well, I mean, what do you want me to do? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just like... <laughs> there we go. How good do enough, I, how good do enough I... for me. Oh! Look at the thing above the door. Uh, oh. It has apples now. Or Interesting. Flowers, maybe? Also, I want, I want to note that you're trying to tell me to vocalize silence. A little bit. I mean, there, even even in the thing of just like a, you know, dots and then a question mark, there's still some bit of vocalization. You know, you might not actually write out the, huh? Because it's not really something that goes into words very well, but, you know, there's at least something there. Oh. I think, uh, weird. Well, can't complain. I guess not. Obtained ball of paint pink. Strained ear. Hmm. Oh, collected works of Gortena Part 2. Wonder if there's anything useful. S we'll try S. Serpent Spirit, 6248. Beginning with this piece, Gratena began his focus on abstract art. But at the time, cubism was more popular, leaving Gratena's various abstract works largely ignored. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Again, they aren't in alphabetical order, but you know what? I think that is probably because it's translated from Japanese. Yeah, I think in the original it was that, but even then, that I think that was still in English order. Oh. I think if I recall the translator's notes right. I see. I'll let you read you read this one if you want. <gasps> Hangman, sixty-two nineteen, Gortena painted this as a page filler while working for a magazine. Once the illustration had be be become, once the illustration became renowned, it was sold for a limited time as an actual tarot card using the picture. Presently, it is nearly impossible for one to find the tarot card. Huh. I assume we're gonna find one here. Maybe. Let's see what the last one. Is. Mary. Unknown. The last, the last work, work of Gertina's life. life. Wait. I was right. What? I was right. What? While the girl appears almost lifelike, naturally, the music stopped. She is not based on a real person. My heart's beating like super fast right now. Stop it. I was right it's, because it was not like his I'm last getting chased work. by anything. It was his last work before he died. He poured all of his soul into it to the point that she became a true, real being. I'm a real boy! <laughs> yes. She's not based on a real person. Huh? Oh. Well I knew it. I knew it. I was right. Hmm. 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 It's a rather nice painting. Although look you... at the look look at the roses though. Yeah. They're awfully yellow. In fact, I, I may be 
going out on a limb a little bit here, but this whole world may have been created because of her in some way or another. How so? That I'm not certain of. Hmm. It's an interesting idea. There's a familiar painting on the page opposite to the description. Why? It can't be. That's... Mary? She doesn't exist? What does this mean? But then, who or what is with Ebe? The ear is bouncing. I noticed. Shit. And there's a painting upstairs with lips that's called Tattletail. Shit. <sighs> oh no. How she how she How is anybody gonna respond to this? Oh no. <gasps> Welp. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my god. I d And that... I, I, I actually did know this part. And that's the thing that I was trying so hard to not spoil you over. <laughs> like... How did you... Wait, hold on. Wait a second. I want to hmm. ask. How did you feel when I guessed it? Kind of surprised, but <laughs> it is kind of hinted. And some bit. of those hints may have been from me unwittingly. Mm, I don't know. I mean, I only guessed that based on the fact that we read that book that said you can will things to existence with your soul. Yeah. And that's the only reason but I also, guessed it. Via a trading of existences, the imaginary can be made reality. So Mary isn't real. No, no, no but mm. no. Oh. Well, I mean, go go ahead with that. I'll try to hold on to my thought. Okay, well, my thought was that Mary wants to trade or steal Eve's existence. But or perhaps... Gary's. Oh, or Gary's. Or perhaps... Gortina died. It was the last painting he painted thus trading his existence for hers. Well, I was just thinking, via a trading of existences, the imaginary can be made reality. Where are we now? Yeah. Gortina Museum. Where precisely are we now? We are... Or maybe, in a wider form, where are we now? You're in some would, other dimension? Would you say that that is the same existence as the gallery we entered with our parents? No. Via a trading of existences, the imaginary can be made reality. Yes. In here, what's imaginary? Yeah, there's the thing of, like, the paint popping out of the book about colors. The paintings being animated, able to hear and write and stuff. And the pretty much the museum itself, or the gallery, being alive. The imaginary can be made reality. So it traded one existence for another, in which things that are imaginary are real. And vice versa. But I don't think you're very far off with your idea. Because in all the things, you know, the thing where where Mary asks, you know, if there could be two, no matter how you answer, she's not happy whenever the answer is, I'm going to leave with Gary. Yeah. Like, if you say, I'll let you two go alone, she's like, no, 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 no. You know, we'll get out together. Right. Like, she is yearning to be free. So in this case, via trading of existences... Gary's real existence into the imaginary to allow the imaginary to become reality. Well, all I have to say, well, maybe this is all I have to say, but <laughs> what I want to say is 
this shit is getting really good really fast. Yeah. And I bet you're not going to like what comes next. I'm not sure what that means. I think I know what that means. I think I do. She wants your existence. She wants the existence that you held in the other reality. Mm -hmm. My hands really need to stop shaking. It's not going to help me. I was me shaking any. like all hell like through that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> By the way, according to the translator's notes, on the whole, I heard Harry Mary's secret. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh the the way that it was translated makes that that the knocking sounds mm -hmm. were actually the same for you know pretty much the same in both English and Japanese, with the only thing being that there's not a separate one between the I and the herd necessarily. Oh. And then I think you know they followed it up with if only that actually meant something. <laughs> But uh, I, the funny thing is that I actually read out, I think, most of that one to you, and you still didn't actually, you still didn't get it because I held back the spoilery part. Like, I even read the, the bit that it's translated from as mm. best as I could. I don't, I don't speak Japanese. That being said, I'm not too terrible at sounding things out most of the time. And, and I did it that way because it wouldn't have been a spoiler, yet I still straight up told you pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I think we've run around this room too too much. Let's see. What's out here? It's gone. The doll is gone. Oh, no. There's only one more room in this... Only one more place in this room. Ugh. Hello. And in there resides the red paintball. I picked up something good. I don't remember my voice for this thing. I'm making it my treasure. A disturbing doll. Oh, its stomach looks bigger somehow. <sighs> oh no, it ate it. It wanted to play too. <sighs> Should we check it? I, I guess. I don't know. I think it's the only way to progress. I suppose I'll look closer. Something came out of the doll stomach. Oh, there's the red paintball. By the way, if you had chosen uh -huh. to kick it earlier, there wouldn't have uh -huh. been much of a choice here, and Gary would have kicked the head clean off the doll. Holy crap. And that's where the ball of paint would have come from. However, that oh. would have been bad news bears for us in the next room. I imagine so. There's something on the ground. Obtained ball of paint, red. The ball of paint vanished. Oh, it, it really can move. I see. So it's been alive the entire time. Hey, yep. And apparently it can teleport. Let's go... I, mean, I, I don't really feel like doing this next room. Let's go back and see with Mary and Ebe. <gasps> yeah. It was even foreshadowed when she mentions, oh, and Blue too. Hmm? Stealing his rose. It was foreshadowed. Stealing his existence. Oh. It's moving. There it is. Mary oh, stayed behind. No. Oh, God. Mary is still here. We're moving around. Talk, try to talk to her. Yeah, I'm going to talk to her before interacting with that painting. Mary? Mary. I, I don't remember my voice for her anymore. I'm Mary. There it is. Oh, 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 o
fuck, oh, fuck, fuck, no. fuck, 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 Damn it, maybe I should have actually interacted with this. Mm, when was the last time we saved? Liter literally just before we came up here. Okay. Should we save scum? I'm willing to do it. Just I don't think it changes anything, because... but I want to see the dialogue. Yeah, exactly. I want to see the dialogue as well. Tail. It's whispering something. Hmm. Well, good that I got that. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Ah, what's wrong? What's wrong? Ah, oh, I don't like him. Not when this. Oh. Well, I'm sufficiently creeped right the fuck out. Thanks. Oh, we get to see the rest of all the creepy dialogue. But of course, I am nothing if not thorough. <laughs> Unless I'm being totally creeped out by it also, in which case I will skip the fuck out of it. Hey, are, are you okay, Mary? Yes, I'm okay. Am I okay? Okay, 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 okay? Oh, ha 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 ha! He okay, Mary. I'm okay, Mary. Me, ha 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 ha! Oh, ha 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 ha! Well, there isn't any situation in which that doesn't go right the fuck wrong. <laughs> the better question is which of those is the best choice. But the True secondary too. question of is there a best choice? Like, I don't think it actually affects anything, but I don't know. I don't like any of them. No. And I don't think there's a way to progress without having that happen. Looks like she went over this way, so... I think maybe... Oh. oh. That's that one mannequin head. I she's see. stabbing it with the pellet knife? Mary? 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 In my way, in my... Wait, where's my voice? In my way, in my way, in my way, in my way! Mar Mary? Mary? She's swinging a pallet knife. Mary? Mary? Oh. Yep. Nope. She's gone. Well, I'm out. Ollie outie. Nope. 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 Oh. Oh. Eve. Don't leave me. Uh... Eeb, how's this scarf? Uh... It looks great! I'm gonna go find Gary! I mean... Uh, I... Both of these are compliments, but I feel that there's a completely different feeling for both. I Saying agree. it suits you just after hearing what she... What she is. Using, using the word what instead of who in this case. Feels right. like a bad option. I agree. So I'm going to say that it's cute. <laughs> I'm glad. I really like it too. Your ribbon's all big and cute too, Eve. I wonder oh, what yeah, Gary's doing now. Happened. Crying all alone, maybe? I hope we find him soon. You wish you were crying all alone. Mind you, he will soon does. be. Let's play dolls. I'll be the mom doll, and Eve can be the dad doll. I love to draw. I've got lots of crayons. We should draw sometime. I'm pretty good, you see. I'm not surprised that a painting is good with art. Are you surprised? You know, now that you mention it, not even. Eve, do you know about snow? <laughs> um, Eve probably knows about snow. Has she seen snow? Can't say. I'm curious as to how this might change, actually. Like, hmm. Mary probably doesn't. Probably not. Or at least not much. I'll say that we do. 
Wow, that's nice. It's really cold, right? I read in a book that you can eat it with syrup. What? She's not wrong. Well, I mean... She's, she's not wrong. No. That's actually a thing that they do up in, like, Maine and Canada. Pour syrup over snow, and then it congeals, and you can just kind of, like, wrap it around a stick. I don't know why you'd want to, but it's a thing that people do sometimes. Well, I mean, just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Yeah. <laughs> Yeep, your flower's all red and pretty. Can I touch it? Uh, Fuck no! no. <laughs> Hell no. Mary, you know. I wonder what <laughs> happens if you let her have the... I was just considering saving and doing that. You remember the pa that painting of the clown we passed by, right? That thing rolling down the stairs was the clown's nose. <laughs> yes, How do yes, you it was. Know that? Oh, she's following behind us now. Okay then. Eve, would you be friends with me? I've always wanted a girl like me who could be my friend. And I want to meet your mom, too. I mean, all I have is a dad. Gortena. Uh -huh. He didn't die. Well, He got transferred to the museum. The gallery. Whatever. I don't know. Maybe. But I mean, it could be just the thing of, yeah, Gortena is technically her dad through the process of creating her. Of True. painting her, of transferring the effort to, that it caused the spirit, you know, that you see. Right. However, I mean, it's also very possible that he is here. Maybe. Who knows? In this strange, bizarro gallery. Okay, we have saved. Let's see what happens. Yay, thanks, it's so pretty. But as pretty as roses are, they still have thorns. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, Eve, one of the petals came off. What? Wow! I'll take it, though. I don't care what a jerk. It. I mean, it implies that... Like, she didn't pull one off, it just came off? Why would it come off? Yeah, she pricked herself, and... Uh, the petal came off? Shouldn't she be the one who lost her petal, not Eve? I mean, if she she's got a painting, pricked. does she really have health? Well, I mean, she claims to have a rose. Yeah, but I mean, there was, there was yellow roses in her painting. Mm-hmm. I don't it says know. that her rose is real. I mean, True. if she's fake, who says that a rose is not? I don't know. Why well, are I mean, if she's so alive. tall, I wonder? Am I going to be tall like Gary someday? I want to grow up soon. I wonder how long she's been here, considering okay. presumably that time doesn't pass in this weird dimension. Mm. I mean, in this dimension? No idea. Total time, unknown, because we don't know the date that it was painted at. Because right. that was blocked out in the book. But it, if it was Gortena's last work, and this is something to memorialize Gortena's death, it might not have been that long ago. Like at most 10 years or something. Right. But can you imagine spending 10 years in this place? Eh, what is time anyway in a place like this? True. So I, I told her that the, that the scarf suits her. Really? I'm glad. I really like blue. And red really suits you, Eve. Oh. No. She said she really likes blue and that red suits us. Right. We have the red rose and we are wearing red. It suits us. She says she eyes. likes blue. Right. Yeah. She has the... blue scarf, blue eyes. Well, yeah. Wouldn't be surprised if she were gunning for Gary's rose. That's what I'm saying. For an art gallery, there aren't many visitors, huh? I wish more people would come. I wonder what Gary's doing now. 
cookies and cake and chocolate and gee, so much to eat. I want to eat all these sweets. Let's see. Oh, hey. Hmm. I don't feel like she wouldn't like us mentioning Gary. She said she doesn't she mentioned really like him. Gary. She oh. mentioned, I, I wonder what Gary's doing, crying all alone, I, I wonder. You know, hopefully we'll find him soon. But she wouldn't like it if we said, I hope Gary is safe. Yeah. I'm sure she wouldn't like it. But I mean, would, would we actually ask what were you doing? It's pretty clear what she was doing. Yeah. Although I wonder how the mannequin head got over there. Because that's the one that we pushed down to create that hole in the floor. Well, maybe asking her eyes. what she was doing is more like, why were you doing that? Maybe. Should we? Yeah, why not? Huh? Oh, that was... I'm sorry, I'm not too sure either. I was just... All of these feelings suddenly... How do you say it? It came gushing out? Um, uh... Don't worry about it, I'll be fine. Stop making me feel for things, game, please. This game is too good. That, that's one of the better things in games, is when the games make you feel bad for the, you know, for the bad guy, and it's done well. It's one of the yeah. better things about Undertale, really. Oh, I see. This is... Okay. Suddenly I understand that one line in the translation notes. Because that is <laughs> a little bit clunky here. And in Japanese, it flows a lot better. That's the oh, one I where see. it's, uh... I can't remember. Hana Uranai? I think it was? I don't remember. What does that translate to? Flower directly? fortune telling? It's the uh. same thing, essentially. Love me, love me not. Yeah, yeah. I Except know. I think it's more like love, hate. Shrug. I'm no translator. <laughs> hey, Eve, have you ever done loves me, loves me not? Well, you see, there's actually a way to always end with loves me. Depends on how many petals are on the flower, but yes, you can technically game it. Wanna hear it? Tell me more. Okay, I'll tell you. Um, when you run out of petals, you can still count the stem. And that's how you always get loves me. Well, that's not quite what I was thinking. Y you know? More like you could start you're, with you're, you're one not wrong. or the other, dependent on the number of petals. Well, I mean, in this case, the stem counts as an optional petal. Right, and if you but think that about means you it, just always win. Well, yes, that that would be the point. So that you would always end with it saying that you know the person that you are, you know, doing this flower of fortune telling of, you know, it always ends up with loves me, and you never end up with saying that they don't. That that would be the point. But that's that's interesting, considering that if you look at the health counter, when it when we actually die. You'll see that it still technically says one, but it'll just show the stem there. Mm. You can still count the stem. I see. Well, I, I guess that that's what it's at, at one. Well, I'm just saying from a logical standpoint, it just doesn't make sense because you always win no matter what. Meiji, these are uh -huh. young girls. True. Trying to scry on who they, you know on whether somebody likes them or not. Of course Based they're going to want on the number it. of petals on the flower. Yeah, I yeah, it's still. They're, they're, they're not going to be like, logically, this is how it is. They're going to be like, how do I make it so that it always says that they love me? Because who well, I mean, wouldn't want something to say that somebody loves you? If you're going to do it that way, at least do the metagame right and just count the number of petals first so that you start with the right one. Eh. Have, having the stem be optional is a little bit awkward. Exactly. But I'm not sure I'm not sure if counting petals should be allowed in the same way that, you know, Las Vegas wasn't sure if counting cards should be allowed. And then they realized, um, no, fuck no. <laughs> it no, it shouldn't, because you can win every time. And this is different? You're literally saying count the petals so you can win every time. Well, at least then it's not blatantly, like, I don't know. 
<laughs> I, I think either it way it goes, it's technically cheating. Whether you're yeah. counting them or whether you decide the stem is an optional extra. Okay, well, I'll say pedal. this. At least counting them isn't blatant cheating. Eh. It's just a little cheaty because you're going into the metagame. Yeah. And plus, I think you're generally supposed to start with the loves me regardless of how many things are on there. You can't start oh, with, like, doesn't like me, likes me. Oh, hey, look, there was only two pedals on here. They like me. <laughs> but I mean, yeah. Well, anyway, I think we've talked about the yeah, I, I think, game I think we've talked much. about the metagame of, of flower fortune telling long enough, probably. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> of all the tangents that we go on. <laughs> this was one of the oddest ones. I want to get odd. out now. I'm tired of being here. That implies she's been here some amount of time. Although some amount of time could range from literally any time between like 10 years to 10 minutes. You know, Eve mm. is apparently confirmed for being nine after all. Right. And Mary's probably not much different. She's probably close in age. Eve, do you like your dad? Um, I'm pretty sure she does love him. Yeah. Yeah, I love my dad too. But I guess I can't meet him. I've kept looking, but I can't find him. Maybe I if see. I can get outside, then... He's dead. He's dead. He's dead, Jim. No, you can't touch my rose. Fa-la-la, fa la ha 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 it's a song original by me, Mary. You should sing when you're sad. You'll be having fun again before you know it. And with those inspirational words by Mary, I think that's a good point to end this episode. Indeed. So, uh, come back next time for Gary being utterly terrified and then probably crying in a corner. If I and had also, to guess. If you'll take a moment to listen, well, you could listen to this episode too, but you'll notice. Okay, well, I'll phrase it, phrase it like this. You can come back next time to hear this somber, somber music. True. It is really somber. It it really right. fits the, the mood of how kind of abandoned and yet not quite right this place is. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it has that same sort of, like, compositional feel as just, like, subtle background classical music you might find in a place, you know, where it's really in the background just so that it's not empty, you know, sound space. Yes. But the way that it's, you know, the way that it's done, there's more to it that just kind of adds a smidge of dissonance and emptiness and sadness to it. Which really fits the game very well. Agreed. But, uh, I'm... We are rambling. Quite. Come back next time for more spooks and probably more detailed discussion on things that are just completely off the wall. <laughs> so make sure you come back for that next time. So we won't be soon. talking about paintings. Well, we will probably be talking about a painting about paintings. We are in an art gallery. You said completely off the wall. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yes, we're talking about Mary. She's off the wall. Well, in this case, most of the paintings are off the wall because they're alive. So... I mean, Lady in Red? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. But you, you know what I meant. So, yeah. Yes. Come, come back next time for more of this. More of this. And uh, until then, farewell. See you guys next time.